Well, hello and welcome to Knife Delights. It's two for Tuesday, that easy open tag that any channel can participate in. I highly encourage you just to grab a couple of knives and talk about them. I've got a wonderful twofer today. We're going to be going over this uh, wonderful axe or hatchet and knife. Fascinating story and history behind this uh, hatchet and knife set. And, uh, well, this isn't mine. My big brother, who's become quite the uh, knife aficionado and has gotten a keen eye for knife collecting, recently picked this up in an antique store. So more about that here in just a moment. Before we get into the knife and hatchet uh, review, um, I've got just a few quick announcements. My first announcement here is I just received some stickers from Stacy's Bolstered Blades. And uh, they, they're very nice stickers here. Just wonderful. Fellas, we always call this a brotherhood, but we got to remember we got some great sisters out there in the knife community also. So it's a brotherhood and a sisterhood. So Stacy. Thanks once again for these wonderful stickers. I also want to remind everybody, I just recently put up a community post. So go to the Knife Delights uh, homepage, find my latest community post. And I'm accepting nominations for channels under, 50, under 500 subs. I want you to nominate up to three channels. And we're going to be giving away this wonderful Camillus Jumbo Trapper. I recently did a video on this comparing it to one of my case Panama Trappers. But uh, go there, nominate three channels, and then we'll be holding a giveaway uh, on this knife. Once I get the, the channels nominated, uh, I'll draw and pick a channel out to, uh, to give this away in, in support of. Let's help this community grow. So go there and nominate your three channels. And then I'll do a video on the uh, entry requirements and how to enter to win this wonderful knife. And, la and lastly, I just re like to remind everybody that RJ's Knives and I have started a, a weekly uh, knife show called the Knife News Roundup. And coming up this uh, August 31st, uh, I'm going to have a guest co-host, Rasputin's Castle. So make sure and uh, look out for our latest Knife News Roundup. Well, as I mentioned before, my uh, oldest brother, Gary, um, really got into collecting knives through collecting Boy Scout knives. He collects uh, other Boy Scout memorabilia and uh, through, I guess, my good or bad influence, however you want to look at it, he's really gotten into hitting the antique stores and looking for antique knives. But he did another major score here the other day when he got this Kit Carson kit, a Kit Carson kit. And it is a kit put together by Plum Axes, and it comes with a Western knife. Now, we're going to be delving into the history of both of these because it is quite fascinating uh, how Plum and Western got together to do this kit. And it was paired up together in this uh, dual sheath, and it is an official Boy Scout knife and hatchet. So this knife and hatchet set was known as a Kit Carson kit. Now who was Kit Carson? Well, Kit Carson was born in 1809 and he died in 1868. And uh, he was involved with the expansion of the West. And he was a frontiersman, a trapper, a soldier, and an Indian agent. So it's not, not uh, anyone's surprise that if you're going to come out with an official Boy Scout knife set that Kit Carson would be a good name, a uh, good person to name it after. However, there is just a little bit of a play on words. Uh, Carson was spelled with a C, but when they came out with this kit, they spelled Carson with a K. So apparently, from the research that I have done, uh, the first kit came out in 1938, and the one from 38 to 42 it included a Remington knife and a plum hatchet. So yes. We have a plum hatchet with a western knife. Now from 1943 to 1950 the box was changed and the kit possibly included a knife made from marbles or by K-Bar. In 1948 the knife was made by western. 
From 1950 to 1961, the box was changed again. The knife was made by Western, and uh, the pattern of the hatchet here was changed to the national pattern, Axed. In uh, 1956, they changed uh, to a perma-bonded axe, and we'll get into the perma-bonded here in just a moment. Now, the Scout axe changed in 1962. And the last known example of the kit was in 1972. Now, the Boy Scouts of America was founded in 1910, and Plum teamed up with the Boy Scouts in 1911 to make the first official American Boy Scouts axe. So, this hatchet from Plum, and it says Genuine Plum there, they have a very long history with the Boy Scouts. The knife here is a Western model L66, and as you can see, it is an official Boy Scout knife. And we can see here that it's got the first class uh, badge stamped in here. It says, be prepared. So that's what makes it official Boy Scouts uh, products. Well, in doing the research, I found out from Plum that they had patented a process called a permabond. And I did not know what that meant. I thought maybe they were talking about the handle. Um, you know, maybe some sort of a fiberglass handle or something like that. But no, it doesn't have to do with the handle. Now, this is, a, uh, I believe, to be hickory. And they always did stain them red. But the permabond has to do with the way you attach the, the uh, axe head on or the hatchet head on here. And you can see down in there, it's that bright red stuff down in there. That's the way they started attaching them. They received a patent for this in, well, when did they apply for it? Let me see, they applied for it in 1954, and it looks like the uh, application was granted in 1958. So that would make this hatchet here, being a permabond, would be one of the models after 1958. Just a way of dating. Now here is the official Boy Scout knife by Western, and it is the L66, and the L stands for leather, because it's got the leather handle, and in typical Western fashion, it's got the bifurcated tang there, which means there's two pins that go through. There is no model number on this knife, and from the tang stamp charts that I could find, I could not find this one. It says Western, Boulder, Colorado, made in USA. That is missing from the Tang Stamp chart, and that's basically the 1950s. So that would go along with this being sometime after 56, or sometime in the 50s. That's when the PERMA, that PERMA was uh, patented. And uh, so I am assuming that both of these were made sometime in the 1950s. So we've got the official scout markings. If we look at the at the two uh, sheaths here, combination sheaths, you can see they both have the Boy Scout emblem on it, on the buttons. This one's just a little bit worn. It needs restitched, but that can be corrected. Other than that, you know, the sheaths are in pretty good shape. Now, my brother did say he put some uh, conditioner on here and cleaned them up just a little bit. But it's a fine example right here. Just a wonderful, wonderful set. Now, they talk about... Um, Plum had changed it to a, to a national head. And I can't find out exactly what that means, but it has to do with this pattern here. And I believe it's just a pattern that Plum came out with. There are all kinds of axe and hatchet head uh, patterns. I will defer to someone in my listening audience to give me a little bit more information on that. But what a wonderful combination set. Now, just a little bit more information on this Western knife. Um, 
from what I could find out, Western knives made official Boy Scout knives from around 1947 or 48 until about 1978. And I know Tobias uh, on Knife Chats with Tobias has a wonderful video on this L66 Boy Scout knife. And I think he got information from BDH. And if you're not familiar, BDH is a wonderful subscriber and viewer. And he, he he's our go-to guy on Western Knives. So we have this knife and hatchet set here. And when I first saw it, I, I saw that the knife was a, you know, a Western knife. You can tell that just by the construction and the double, double pins there. I did not actually take the uh, hatchet out and look it over. I did not know it was a plum. And I did not know that Western had paired up with anybody else. Now, Western has a history of making uh, hatchet and knife sets. And you've seen those on uh, videos on those on my channel here. I have the Black Beauty set. And if you go to uh, Big J's, why well, Jerry has a knife and hatchet combination made with the rosewood handles. So, the comp so while Western was uh, used to making combo sets, to find one where it was partnered with this uh, great uh, axe and hatchet company, well, that was just wonderful. Well, if you find these videos to be informative and enjoyable, please hit that subscribe button. That way you'll ensure that you don't miss any future videos. And I'll be putting a link to the Boy Scout playlist, Boy Scout Knife Review playlist, at the end of this video. And that goes over my brother's Boy Scout collection. A wonderful set of videos if you're into the Boy Scout knives. Well, thanks again for stopping by here at Knife Delights. Again, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And until next time, have a very delightful day.